All right, y'all. It's been a while, but we are back watching police body cam footage. This is from the Code Blue Cam channel on YouTube. Check them out. Simple traffic stop turns into a nightmare. Let's see what happens on this one. And remember, as we're watching through this video, we're going to grade both the police and the suspect in how they handled the entire situation, A through F. So keep in mind, take mental notes as we're watching this, and we'll do the grading at the end. On the evening of March 8th, 2023 an officer was on patrol when he observed a vehicle with a defective brake light in jackson wisconsin upon reaching the vehicle and initiating a traffic stop it pulled into a walgreens store and parked in a handicapped spot despite the officer's activated emergency lights the driver later identified as a 34 year old male named harrison ignored commands and walked into the store hey, keep begging your car man hey keep begging your car no keep begging your car right now Traffic stop. My car was stopped and parked. Car off. I'm going to stop, walk. bro. Ain't no stop. Come back here. I'm a grown man. Come, come back here. Like that. Ain't no come back. Come back. You're getting bro, resisting. You're resisting work. right now. I'm not resisting nothing. Hey, sir, just traffic stop. I'm walking. So just walking away. My yo, bro, coming in hot off the rip. He he. Okay, I already see this is gonna de this is gonna escalate quickly. This is gonna escalate real quick. It's your lucky day, okay? I gotta go to a different call. You can't drive. You have a suspended driver's license. You gotta stay here and call someone else, okay? Hey, as soon as he left, I'm peeling off, driving home. Come back. <laughs> the red bullet is out of work. Let's what go. are you doing? Let's go. No, let's go. I'm grown. Don't let's touch go. me, man. Let's go. I'm grown. Ain't no let's go, bro. You better call your, your um, let's go. lieutenant or something. Ain't no let's, let's go. go. What's wrong with you, bro? What's wrong with you, bro? Let's go. Step it up. Bro, you got Come on. Right, got it. Hey, we're going back. Hey, outside. no, we're going where? We're going what, back what outside right now. What did you do to me? Nine what did you do? County, have my Can you please bring up your camera, ma'am? I'm going my, my go. job, right? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My car. What, what is your reason for harassing me, man? Because I didn't. I gotta go to work at ten o'clock, bro. I gotta go to work at ten o'clock. My car was cut off. We're back by the cooler. I, 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 you can run my, my plates. I got license and everything. What are you doing? You have a defective brake What light. are you that's doing? Why I, that's bro, why I stopped bro, you. you did not stop me. Yo, like what? Yo, this is crazy. He's just on a thousand. It's not even level 10. He's just... It is all for a defective brake light. That's one thing I don't like about these small town cops. They got nothing better to do than to stop you for the most frivolous. Oh, your 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 tail light was out, and you know all these other little minor things. Like I get it; it's important to have a tail light and all that. But at the same time, like, come on, man. Bro, you did not stop me, and your camera show that, bro. Let's what go. are you doing? We're Let's stepping. do what? We're stepping outside. Yeah, I'm stepping after I buy my Red Bull. Right now. After, no, no. Right now. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. You don't have that right. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You crazy. Where's my backup? You crazy. You notice how, hey, hey, you notice how the cop don't want to engage and try and detain him by himself. He's waiting for backup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the reason I point that out is because, one, he should be trying to de-escalate this. So far, the cop hasn't said anything to de-escalate de it. Obviously, it's very difficult because this guy's screaming at everything and super combative. Um, but but I mentioned that just because you, you notice that a lot of cops are just fat, out of shape, have have zero zero physical ability, and aren't able to handle the job without having about five of them to to take someone down. Where's your backup? You better not touch me. I know you better not touch me. Ma'am, please don't leave. You better not touch me for a traffic stop. Let's you better go. not put your hands on Let's me go. or I'm suing your ass. Let's go. Touch me. We're walking outside. I ain't going nowhere. We're walking outside. I ain't, going, I ain't under arrest. I ain't got going nowhere. Is it closed? Is it closed here? We're yeah, stepping outside. I'm going to buy my Red Bull. We're stepping outside. He could have. Oh, I got rights, man. You can't do that. Get the f*** up out of here. Step you outside. See now nah, he's gonna come in. They're gonna tackle the guy. Watch. If I die, I want my kids step to outside. see what happened. Step Please outside. Please record this. I ain't stepping nowhere. Please record it. He was then quickly decentralized as a result of his active resistance. Please record it, man. Record it. Record it. 
As soon as he heard his buddy running in, he wanted to get tough and take him down. I got it. You got it? Please, Cody, get my keys, please. No, three, no, they can slow it down. Yep, everything's recorded, sir. So I'll make it to my family, please. Let them see that video. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Slow it down. All right. See how he put his legs on my head for no reason now? Sir, just he's securing you, man. This? Hey. See this? We're Unnecessary just force? <laughs> Why is my head being on the ground like this? Hey. Okay. Just calm down. Hey, hey, on, we're good. Hey, hey we're breathe. good. Hey, we're good. You he can on my breathe. back and I can't breathe. Hey, I'm not good. Me. Hey, we're good. No, he's on my butt and I can't breathe. <laughs> Back oh, up, Robbie. Robbie. Back up. Robbie, back up. Back up, buddy. Okay. We're just going to be calm. Okay. okay. All right. Hey. Don't worry about none of that. You guys good to put him on his side? Yep. yep. Bobby okay. trying to do his All job right. and put, the, side, put okay. the chips no, back no. on the shelf. Why am I cuffed and I'm not arrested? Right. Why am I being, I, I wasn't, why, why am I being arrested? Hey, 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 hey. I'm supposed to go to work to take care of my family. Under a 90-day policy Amen. At, at this job. Hey, hey, what's your name? First name. Harrison. Harrison. Okay, just take a deep breath. Bro, this is uncalled for. We're going to get you up. Okay? I, was not, uh, I was not under Harrison. arrest. It wasn't a traffic stop. He had no right hey. to follow me hey, in man. this okay. store and do this to me. Okay, man. Hey, here's Don't act like people hey. got no right. Harrison, here. While taking him into custody, the officers also detected an odor of marijuana emitting from his clothes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh shit. You smell that? You smell that, Jim? Oh, yeah. I smell that. That's right. How about you, uh, Tommy? Oh, yeah. I smell that, too. It's marijuana. If that's what you're going to say, just keep that with you. You can bring that with you to court. But right now, we're not going to argue about it because you're only going to make your situation... I'm not arguing anything. Okay, perfect. I'm speaking for that camera right there. Okay. How, uh, how this unnecessary force is being used on me. Wait, well, we, and that wasn't a traffic stop or okay. nothing. Lucky, no drugs wait, or nothing. One second, one second, man. I don't care one about second. nothing. Hey. Do whatever you got to do, bro. Hey, lucky for you, man. Whatever. Whatever. I already know y'all ain't on my team, bro. On my side. Y'all can Relax. just take me to jail. Do what y'all got to okay. do, bro. Hang on. Hang y'all already... Wait. Yep. Yep. One, we're gonna sign you up. Perfect, man. There we go. Can I get my uh, my phone? We'll grab that. That's your phone. Alright. Who's the on duty manager? You are perfect. Is there anyone else in your car? Ain't nobody in my car. You see, ain't seen you ain't nobody in my car, man. I, I mean I just got here, man. No, I'm trying to go to work. Like y'all working and y'all harassing me. Run my place, bro. Okay, so I just I wasn't here when everything started. Do you Hello. know what happened? No, nope. he just walked in and I, I was in the back doing okay. the job and I heard him screaming. Okay. I thought it was something with one of my employees, so I came over here. I got you. That's some bullshit, bro. Is this your car right here? Yeah, that's what's Okay, fun. okay. Before we continue, there's quite a bit of video left, so this this I don't know what's about to happen here. What, what are we thinking so far? This is this is crazy. I, you see, I'm kind of lost for words. At the level of of escalation, it was bro was just all the way out of ten off rip. What are we thinking so far? What's up, Kev? Bro was just trying to go to work. Officer still on the F train. Equipment violation doesn't get uh equipment violation doesn't get all of this. It's so much going on. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot going on, right? It's a lot going on right now. Definitely is. Definitely is. Yo, race this ass, bro. Get, don't touch me, bro. Please don't let dude touch me. Hey, I got For real, don't I got him. Him. Hey, I got him. You want to go? Okay, Dan. We're going to go inside the back of this squad car, okay? I didn't search his pockets, just his waistband. Okay. We're going to pull you back out and search you, okay? You got anything on you that's going to cut, stick, or poke me? I got nothing on you. Okay, nothing like that? Nothing on me. Okay. Okay, we're going to go back in the back of this squad car now, okay? What's the reason I'm being detained? Because I was well, never, it was never a traffic stop. Why am I being detained again? Because I, I know I'm not under arrest. Well, you're, you're under arrest. Yes. Yeah, you're under arrest. I'm good. I didn't check Nick yet. Is Nick good? Are you hurt, Nick, or are you good? I'm good. Okay. Is he good? Does he need anyone offer him medical at all or anything? Else? I'd assume so. You were fighting with officers when I showed up, so. Uh, fighting? Wait. He, he didn't swing. What do you mean? I don't know. This is the stuff that bothers me. They didn't clearly uh, say so far what he's arrested for. It, it was like the officer that went in there, the, the first one had zero control of the situation. And then and it just was a mess. It's just a mess. 
You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, Salty. Thank you. Well, you all see the bumper off, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but you can't drive without yeah. one. All right, okay. Say whatever y'all want to say. I know I ain't supposed to be getting arrested for this. So no injuries right now, but you might have some I later? Know. I don't know, bro. Okay. Well, you let me know. I, I stopped because he had a brake light out. Yeah. And he pulled in here. I said, get back in your car. He said, F that. I'm not doing that. So I followed him in there. Oh, okay. And then he, he just kept here. pulling away. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, scary, I heard mean, you like call it out, and then we're always walking yeah. away. I'm like, oh. Sorry, I couldn't tell where if you were in the store or where you were at first. So that's why I was trying to figure it out. I knew you were here, so it wasn't helpful when dispatch said Walgreens. <laughs> well, he smells you, like he smells like weed. Right. What do you have? I stopped for a brake light out. He got out. He pulled in here. He was he was trying to ditch you then, or? Well, I know I saw I saw the brake light when he brake to pull in here, so I came in here, lit him up. He pulled in his parking lot. What did you say? You did what she said. The Malibu belongs to Harrison. Yeah. Only thing on is registration suspended because oh, yeah, I, I just missed. got it fixed. Got out of his car, started walking. I said, "Get back in your car." Yo, Miss K with a gift of sub to uh, Lilith. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. I'm gonna drop some guys. If you're on IG, come rock with me over on kick, kick.com, DJ Moon Dog Live. Come follow, come sub up, help your boy out with the content because these platformers don't want to see your boy winning. I keep demonetizing all my stuff. Car traffic stop. No, that I'm gonna get a Red Bull. I'm going to work. You can't stop me. Okay, okay. transmission just got fixed. Okay, bumper just fell off. Hey man, I said, so Y'all see them, bro? He had no reason to tackle me in no damn Walgreens. Bro. Okay. And then I followed him in there, and basically he was being loud and boisterous, as you probably heard, but I just waited for backup before going hands out. What no stuff? Hey, you know what I think? One thing I noticed is every time they pan the cops on the co on the on the uh, body cam, they all keep looking at the body cam because they know it's recording. It it's so weird. It's got to be a weird feeling for an officer these days to talk and they know the cameras are rolling. And they got to like self uh, censor themselves perhaps or be very cautious about how they word things. But I noticed it. I, let's, if you continue to watch, they keep looking at the cameras as they're talking to each other. Just an observation. Stop, bro. Well, I'm telling you from right now, it's my no opinion. Stop, bro. Okay, that's your opinion, man. Okay, well, I thought he was getting ready to swing at you. That, I thought so, that, I th he was getting ready that's why to do I, took, like, I just pretty much tackled him right yeah. away. So, okay. Hey, man. So, you're just, let me, I am just want to hear your side of it here, okay? So when he stopped you, you don't think that was a good stop? You got nothing well, besides... Was not just wait, just, just wait, just wait, I know, me. I know, hey, we're not, we're going to get to that, okay? So you say that you're doing nothing wrong, your driver's license is valid, you got nothing in the car, correct? Well, I'm on my way to work. My okay, okay, down but the street, you don't have bro. anything in the car? Bro, well, y'all know I don't have nothing in that car, okay, is that right if I search it? Just make bro, sure you got nothing. what you mean? I've been, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do to the car. Y'all got the car, bro. Okay, is that right if I search bro, it? I'm just I asking you. I don't care you. what y'all do, bro. No. Okay, so it's all right if I search it, make sure... you don't have permission to do anything, but I don't care what you do. Oh, y'all don't have my permission to do anything. Okay. No. It started off as kind of, but no. 913 counts. Good. Never. Don't care if you have nothing in the car. You never consent to that, bro. It's on principle. Kev, thank you for the 22 months as a member on YouTube, my brother. Um. Oh, well, There's. Uh, this is where we are now. Uh, body cam prevents abuse. You would think so, but we also see a lot of body cam footage of officers doing stuff that is out of line or not SOP or not how they're trained to, or not how you're supposed to train to do things, whether it's putting people in the headlock and choke locks and all these kinds of things. And it's like, they know they're being recorded. They know they got body cam and yet they still do it. So what does that say it's to me? And there are many good officers, but my issue is that the institution, which are two separate things, the institution of policing is problematic. You know, that 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 is uh, a synopsis of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I have family members. My mother, retired detective. You know what I'm saying? So, and we get it, we get into it when we have these kind of, when something happens and, you know, it's involving a police and she's very pro-police. And, and I'm like, listen, I, I can objectively give credit when officer does something great. And we watch these videos and we'll see something. They're like, yo, they get an A. They they, they tried to de-escalate. They were patient. They they weren't uh, demeaning or degrading to the person. Try to treat them with respect to the best of their ability. A all day. But, then, and it, but we got to call them out when they are shitty cops. Like, just, bro, you, you could have attempted, at least attempted to de-escalate. But when you just go in and you want to flex your, 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 your law dick around and just do as I say, like, but you're not... You're not trying to talk them down and maybe get them to understand. I, and it's not to say that 
you can't ever have to you, you can't ever escalate perhaps but it should be a, a last resort thing just like the gun it should only come out as a last fucking resort but when you have officers that and look i'm in chicago I, those of y'all that are in major u.s cities i'm pretty sure y'all go out and you see the cops they fat old you know what i'm saying um in my opinion just as much as it was in the military when i was in the marine corps there are height and weight body standards for a reason. You need to be in peak physical form to carry out those, those duties in those positions. In policing in America, these unions have got in there and people treat it like it's a job instead of like a career. The, you know how many people I know and you hear stories of that go to college, get a degree in whatever liberal arts studies field, can't find a job and you know what they do? Oh, I'll just become a cop. Being a cop, being a military, being a doctor, being a lawyer, I could go on for a couple other kind of careers. In my opinion, those are callings. You are called by God. If you don't believe in God, you, you're, it's just a calling of, of, of the world, of the stars aligning or whatever, whatever you were into, astrology, whatever. It's a calling for, for those people in those things because it's selfless work. It's not about you you give yourself up for the benefit of the greater good and, and and everyone else and when you have people that go into these roles as and treat it like work oh i want to go in there because it's a good salary and a pension and i'm gonna just do my 20 and bounce bro those are the wrong people they're not in it for the right reasons it, it, it they're not in it because it's a calling to actually serve and protect the people in in these neighborhoods they don't put in the extra effort to keep themselves in physical shape so that, and why this is important with the physical, you know, and I keep saying about how they all fat. A lot of them are fat. Why, why, why is that important? Because if you are in better shape, you can actually have a, a better chances at handling a suspect physically um, without resorting to the gun. And you see it a lot of times, it happens with a lot of female officers because they're smaller and they're interacting with a bigger guy because of that physical disparity, they're quicker to go to a gun. Or we've seen quite a few videos where the female officers don't even intervene. I, I there was some of y'all were here for some of these videos where the, their male, uh, their male partner got into it and started tussling around with, with the, with the, uh, 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 with the person they stopped. And the female officer just stood off to the side because she didn't want to get in the physical. She didn't want to get into the physical aspect of the of the thing to help out. To me, that's crazy, bro. I'm going in on your ass after that's done as a partner. I'm going in like, yo, you supposed to have my back. That means you got to get in here. I don't care. You're a woman. You you sign up for this shit. Get in here. Get in the get in the trenches. So I say that to say that I'm kind of going on the on a rant about this, but it should be mandatory that all these officers got to be some kind of height, weight, standards, physical ability, be able to run. Uh, a mile and under X amount of minutes, 12 minutes or something like that. And they should be training on their firearms upkeep. Sometimes these cops have to firearms qualify one time a year. When I was in the military, bro, it's like quarterly. You know what I mean? These are all important aspects of um, policing that because they don't do this stuff, then we have incidents because they're out of shape and they need five different people to, to to subdue one person because they all fucking you know what I mean Inavailable. do I no I'm good okay. okay you don't need an ambulance you just want to get on with your night if you're gonna go to jail and get booked at jail you want to go to jail and get booked is that what you're saying sir you know what I'm saying okay well I'm gonna take that as you don't need an ambulance so sir I just heard you say you're hurt do you need I'm hurt do you need an ambulance? I'm hurt. Do you need an ambulance? My legs hurt, yes. I need an ambulance. My leg hurt. <laughs> How's that traffic stop? Sir, I made a traffic stop because... How, how is my, my car cut off? What you stopping? Do you want me to explain or are you going to yeah, keep it Yeah, go ahead. Okay. When you, when you pressed your brakes to turn into Walgreens here, I noticed that your driver's side brake light wasn't working. That's why I conducted the traffic stop. Bro, you didn't turn on no lights before. You weren't even behind me when I turned in here, bro. You're capping. When I got out the car, you was pulling up, telling me get back in my car. That's not no stop. I mean, I didn't know what he had. I went in there and the guy was walking away and I almost thought for a second he was going to swing on Nick or something. Oh. So I just pretty much just grabbed him and threw him the shoulders and threw him to the ground. Decentralized him. That's the, that's the technical term. The lady that I was stopped with, I was like, okay, she has already been stopped twice tonight and she has suspended driver's license. 
So I was like gonna give her a sight and I was walking out. I was like, good lucky day, see you later. <laughs> Due to Harrison's noticeable odor, officers had reasonable suspicion of concealed marijuana in his vehicle. A canine sniff yielded a positive alert, revealing marijuana inside a Swisher sweet package under the passenger seat during a subsequent search. There's weed in the Swisher sweet. Yeah. Can you take these cuffs off? They hurt my shoulder. Yeah, I can check them, but no, you're, it's unfortunate when you're arrested, you have to be in handcuffs. I'm saying, why am I arrested and I didn't run from him? I told him I'm going in Walgreens to get a Red Bull before it closed. Okay. Well, how well, can I get a when, when you're in a traffic stop? Okay, one second. When you're in a traffic stop, you walk away from the car, and an officer tells you to stop. You have to stop. You can't keep. Well, up. Ah, 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 ah. I'm talking right now, okay? Don't talk over me, because this will answer a lot of your it's questions. Ah, ah, no, no. Yes, it is. As much as you think it's not, it is. As much as you think that this is ghouls and this is a parking lot, that is, it's okay. It's this, this is a traffic stop, okay? He wasn't behind me when I turned off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Observe you fall, doing some some type of violation. I mean, like I can see you don't have a plate. Oh, it's not something about a light as well. Bro, okay. We might as well not even talk. Yeah, that's what I kind of was getting at. You don't want, you don't want the cuffs checked. Oh, oh yeah. I got sis. Yeah. Hey, let me you check your cuffs. Hey, don't talk to me. You don't talk to me. I have sis. I'll talk to you him. You don't have sir. sis, sir. Yeah, get your dumb ass out of here. Hey. <laughs> um, no, bro, you don't think I'm dumb, bro. I don't think I'm you're not dumb. dumb. But I think that you. I went to law school. Okay, well, if you went to law school, you know that you can be d detained during a stop, and the officer can take you. Bro, that's not a stop. stop. My car was turned off. That doesn't matter. Bro, yes, it does. It does. That 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 does matter. Okay. How can you stop me if you wasn't behind my car? My car cut off. I didn't see him until I got out my it car. Matter. It, it does matter. You have to let yourself be known okay. and let a person know there be a stop for it to be a stop. Harrison, I'm not yelling at you. Either. I'm yelling at you because I'm frustrated. Okay. I was on my way to work. Okay. Take care of my mother. Now, Harrison. And my shoulder hurt, bro. You already had rescue sign off on you, okay? Bro, bro, you said this that you ain't no obstruction to... charge. I didn't run from no police. It's obstructing. That ain't obstructing, okay, bro. It, it ain't no stick, bro. It's a lawsuit. Okay. My shoulder is f***ed up. Okay, do you want us to yeah. check your cuffs because of the way you're yelling right now? Bro, I don't care cuffs. about that right now. Damage is done, bro. My shoulder and hip is f***ed up, bro. Okay. But you, you don't Tell me what y'all find right? in my car. So... Why y'all searching and I ain't give y'all permission? Tell because, me what y'all found. Because there's a probable cause to search. Like he you just told me. He just came. told me we, we're not going to search your car because uh, you didn't give us right. permission. Right. But then I we said I never stopped then. any police officers Harrison, before. Harrison, are you going to keep interrupting me? I don't even want to talk. I don't even know why y'all are talking to me. <laughs> That's fine. I'm going to bother explaining about the canine and PC. They were, I just checked them. You did? Before we put them into the car, I double locked. Was he broad enough that he needs two potentially? I think so. I mean, I don't really want to take them. I'm not taking the cuffs off right now. No, it's going to be a fight if you take the cuffs off. No, that's why I'm not going to. We're not going to two sets of cuffs and whatnot. If he was going to be calm and cool about it and ask nicely, absolutely. But I don't know what law school he went to, but... Hey, man, is that your handicap placker in the car? Hey, I got to keep checking on you so when you don't move and you just keep your eyes open like that, I got to check on you. Hey. Okay. Hey, man. I need hey. to check on you, okay? But when you're uh, just sitting here with your eyes open, not uh, moving. Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. I know. Is that your I handicap placard? I want to talk to my lawyer. Okay. Do you think that's his handicap placard? Did someone already call dispatch and ask them if they can run it? It was also found that his car's registration had expired seven months earlier. Additionally, a handicap placard was visible on the rearview mirror, but it belonged to someone who is not at the scene or inside the vehicle. What's going on, man? Tell you on my shoulder bro are you okay no i'm not okay bro my shoulder hurt bro okay do you need ems to come bro, back here you're gonna take these cuffs off that well, I mean, okay hey 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 bro, hey I told you, ain't no way, all bro. right do you need ems to come back here bro i need to be okay i'm asking you hurt, i know bro. hey here here's the deal dude ain't the no cuffs deal, hey, hey this is wild no this is wild okay. what's going on just don't open that door here's the deal bro don't talk to me don't talk to me, I promise, don't talk to me. Okay, well then don't... He's just yelling, my shoulder. And then he won't answer me if he needs EMS to come back here. And then he goes, you need to take me out of these cuffs. Well, unfortunately, you don't get taken out of cuffs when you fight. Right. And I would love to check his cuffs, but you can't when he's acting like that. What do you want, sir? I, bro, I, can y'all take me and give me what y'all gonna give me so I can go about my day, bro? Okay, we're working on that. Okay. My shoulders are hurting, y'all got me uncomfortable. Okay, and... If we, we, when I opened the door to ask you about checking your cuffs, oh, you started screaming bro. in my face bro. before. Don't act like y'all giving me any rights. Y'all already violated all my rights, man. Why y'all got me in, in the back of this car cuffed like this, bro? Because you're under arrest. You were told that. You were told well, that you're under arrest. You, you, nobody ran me no rights? 
You don't need to be right to write You only have to read right, your Okay. You only have to be right Where's my ticket? Uh, where is my uh, obstruction ticket, bro? You're not going to ticket for obstructing. You're going to jail. For what? For obstructing. This is in Milwaukee County. We don't just do not just write tickets for misdemeanors. We take people to jail in Washington County. So you're going to go to jail for obstructing and disorderly conduct. Okay, there's a bond that you can post. The jail will tell you how much it is if you'd like to post a bond. If not, you'll stay until you see a judge. What's, where did the disorderly content come from? How, how do they just manage to throw that in there? It's so weird, man, how they just throw and stack shit up. You know what I mean? Every time they open that damn door, and I know, I know. Arguing equals fighting physically, I see. You know, it's a lot going on, man. And the thing is, the cops are trying to, I'll give them credit, they're trying to talk to him and be kind of cool about it, but it, I don't know where I'm at with this video yet. It's, it's, there's a lot to kind of just take in on it. In one, in one regard, I might have to, excuse me, watch it back, but, you know, he, when he pulled up to the Walgreens, I don't know, I don't recall if the cop had the lights on already or what. Prior to that, um, cause what he's trying to say is that he had parked and got out the car. At that point is when the officer had the light on, you know, and all that stuff. So in one way, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's something he can litigate out of and be like, yo, like that stop wasn't like a normal stop or something. There's a lot to take in. He should have always read his rights no matter what, but. Well, they don't have to unless they're going to question you, which is why he was trying to get to that. Um, because they know they're recorded, bro. I mean, we all know that. Yo, V, what's up? Cops to charge you, but that takes place later. Yeah. I mean, they're always going to run up the charges. And then once it gets to the DA desk, then they would probably look at it and be like, all right, yeah, we don't have enough to make this stick and so on and so forth. We, you know, which it, it is what it is. Cops are always going to just add shit on there and let the DA figure out what's gonna stick or whatever. Or, you know, sometimes it's a tactic. They just run up the charges or whatever so then they can get you to plea out, you know, and make it seem like they're cutting you a deal when they're, they're fucking you over. Tomorrow, okay, you're gonna get a citation for possession of marijuana. We're looking at the handicap. Possession? Permit. Ain't no marijuana in my car. What did he say? He's saying he can't breathe. Okay. Then he's going to, he's going to the house. You know he's still going to jail after med clearance, right? Did you just pay GMS? Sit up so I can take the seatbelt up. Because you, you, what, what happened was when you thrust around like that, you locked it. Okay? It wasn't locked when you put it on you. We intentionally helped you with that. So, okay, now lean forward back again. Okay, we're going to put the seatbelt back on you. Just don't lean forward. So that's why your chest was probably getting tight with a seatbelt, not because you actually couldn't breathe. Do you still need EMS to come here and check no, you out? I'm cool now. I can breathe. My seatbelt ain't, ain't choking. 903 County, you can cancel it now. What's up, sir? Uh, yeah, call them back. Call EMS. Call Ebelabs. You just said you didn't need them. You I said need you need them. them now. I need them. Call them. For what? <laughs> call them. Hey, for what? I need the Ebelabs. For what? What do you need? need? To see. I need to see the Ebelabs. For what? Cuz, I need to see them. For what? I, I need to see them. For what? We need to tell them what you want them for. That's tell part them of the. To come back and give me. Well, that's not, that's okay. Not a, okay, you're what going to go. Hey, hey, okay. Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris. Well, you want them to come back and get you isn't a medical complaint. What is your medical My complaint? My shoulders. My shoulders feel. It feels excruciating pain. Didn't okay. you just have them sign off? Didn't you sign off on them? Yeah, you Did just you signed. Like that damn tall guy in here. Okay. Well, hey, Harris. Harris. Listen. That's how y'all got Harris, me, bro. Harris. Harris. I need to see EMS, Harris. bro. Still EMS. going to jail either that's way. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Then let's go to the hospital. I'm gonna just take him right there. I'm going. This, bro, this is like the this is like never ending. How long have they been sitting in this lot to to finish this whole thing? This has got to be the longest scene of the night. Literally, they spent their whole shift with this one guy. This is like never ending. <laughs> I need an ambulance. <laughs> I peeped that too. Oh man. Upon arrival at the hospital, Harrison continued to be uncooperative and resistive. All right, Harrison, okay? So, just a couple of things. I know that you don't seem to like me. Okay. <laughs> Yo, why is this a meme? Look at the way he's sitting here. Yo, screenshot this. Please, someone turn this into a meme. This is great. Make this into a meme and send it to me on Insta or in my Discord. If you're not in my Discord, join my Discord. This is a meme all day. What's the caption like? I don't. Even, I can't even think of it right now. But the look is hysterical. This is amazing. One hundred percent. One hundred percent a meme all day. 
Look how he just opened the door. He just slouched like, bruh. <laughs> what? Okay. So I know I just don't want this to be an issue. Only below you, bro. Okay. This goes much more smooth if we're just cooperating with each other. Okay. What? I'm not gonna cooperate with you. I'm You're not. No. I want to see EMS. Okay. Well. What do you mean by not cooperate? Let's get I that. Just see you know, are you going to physically be resistant with us? Are you denying me to see me? No, I'm not. I'm trying as fast as I can to get you in there. Okay, so, let's go. Okay, are you going to be cool with me? What you mean? Have I not been cool with you? Where have I not been? Well, describe cool with me. Where have I not yeah, been? Yeah, you've been cool with me, man. Okay? So, come on, let's go. Yep, you've been cool. Awesome. I'm playing with my intelligence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that oh, fast. Whoa. Hey, we're in a... Slow oh, down. Okay, you came out of there real fast. I don't know what you're doing. Okay? Don't mean Are you serious, bro? Okay, are you thinking... I'm, I'm giving you a... Ser are you serious, okay, bro? Okay, right now, I'm, we're going to talk this through, okay? Right now, you're giving me a stare that I think you're going to fight me for, okay? No, I'm, so I'm, are you I'm, going I'm, this to? This stare means don't insult my intelligence, please. Okay, I am not. I'm not. I'm a victim here. Okay, oh, watch out, watch out. Slow down. What, what do you mean, bro? Like, why are you, what's the force for? You are my, my shoulder already hurt, bro. Stop grabbing. Bro, I tell him to stop grabbing my shoulder like that. You're going to walk. Bro, let my, let my shoulder go. Whoa, whoa. You whoa, doing that to me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! 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 Three, we've got him on the ground in Sally Park. Oh! Hey, don't. Oh, don't. Don't. How can we get your help when you're gonna act like that? Man, we're trying to get you in there. They're trying to kill me! You've got them stabilized. Help me! Code 3, we need another one. Help me! Help me! Stop moving. Okay, we can't bring it, guys, so we can't bring it. Man, please get them off me! Can you get off my shoulder, man? I no, told you, no one's on your shoulder. No one's on your shoulder, man. Bro, y'all know what y'all doing. No one's on your shoulder. You know what you're doing, bro. Sir, I have you my hand. Know, you know what you did, hey. bro. I don't know if he's acting or if he's for real. I'm not being, I'm not, I ain't even being resistant to nothing. Are you going to cooperate? This is crazy. Yeah, I've been cooperating, bro. Okay. Y'all know y'all unnecessarily rough with me, bro. I can't hear you. I'm going to grab a wheelchair. Okay. Can we get you up in a chair? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you got Please get me up. They've been doing this to me all night. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna roll. You're gonna roll towards me, okay? This way, bro. I'm not gonna roll my shoulder. I already well, told you. That I'm not way. sure how we're gonna get you up without doing anything to your shoulder, sir. Bro, I could get up myself. I don't even need y'all, bro, bro. That's not gonna happen. I don't even need why y'all doing this, bro. Which shoulder? Both of them. Okay. What would be? What do you think would be the easiest? Bro, I can get up myself, bro. Y'all get your hands off. We're not. We're not gonna let you get up yourself after the why? way you were just throwing yourself around. What so. do you mean throw myself? You did that. Y'all did that. We're gonna roll you to this shoulder. Bro, I don't even want y'all touching me, bro. Hey, okay. bro, you don't even want y'all touching me. I can get up, bro. Okay. okay, perfect. Bro, don't touch my we shoulder. Have, we have to touch you. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't have to touch me, bro. We're gonna stand I'm asking you to please not touch me. One, two, no, three. No, bro, stop my shoulder. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? I'm good. Just sitting on the ground. I know. I told you, bro. Hey. Why don't they pull it off? We're not pulling your shoulder. We're Bro, I mean, what is he what is he talking about? When you grab him by the arm, it rotates your shoulder. So I don't know why he keeps saying we're not touching your fucking shoulder. Bro, put your arm behind your back. If you grab and you escort from that arm, it rotates your rotator cuff in your shoulder. So trying to help you out and get you into the thing. Embarrassing, bro. I swear, bro. There's no way to get you up any other way. Bro, I can get up on my own. I'm tough. What that am I? Here's the deal. You trip and fall, you bro, are responsible I'm... for your welfare. We have to bro, make sure <laughs> you. He already fall. broke his shoulder. What's wrong, bro? Y'all keep throwing me on the ground. We have to maintain control of you while you're in cuffs. You keep going no, no. away. That's why we went back to the ground. So what's going to happen is he's cool right now, but if you try to get him up, he doesn't want you touching him, and then he'll fight back once we get him halfway up. So, all right, man, we're going to get you up, okay? We're going to get you up. You want to roll onto your left or your right shoulder? I don't need you to roll me. I don't need you to touch me. I can get up, bro. One, two, three. Push yourself up. We're going to go on this bed. I need to go on the bed. Well, that's how it is. You ask to go to the hospital, you have to sit go on to the bed. bed. Sit down. There you go. Stop pushing against me, okay? It makes it a lot I'm easier if you're cooperative. Nurses, okay? Bro, then I tell my shoulders hurt. How am I going to lay on my back with my hands cuffed? Harrison. That's more pain. Are y'all listening to me? Listen a second, okay? What I need you to do is scoot your butt. Bro, this cop got to be fucking 19 years old.
He got to be 19 years old. Ain't no way. <laughs> is he like on the junior cop patrol right along? No way. This guy is older than 20. <laughs> what? What is this? They just be letting babies in to be a police officer these days. Ain't no way, bro. Look like a baby. Oh, hell no. Nah. But back on the cot, on the cot, okay? Can you get your feet up here? Don't kick anyone, obviously. Scoot Bro, I ain't never kick nobody. Okay, I just want to make sure we are avoiding anything like that, obviously. Okay, can you get I your feet up kick. on the Girls kick. All the way back to the end. I punch. Is that good? Yeah. Uh, what is going on? Yeah, no, but he's like playing the pole game and whatever, and don't so touch me. I well, he like like jack in a box out of the squad in front of Tarkin's face, and it's like, whoa, we're not yeah. playing these games, settle down, and then he got all mad at Tarkin. I just want to see if what happened with the case. Years, we took him to the ground again. Uh, DC obstruct resist. So he walked away from a traffic stop. Because once your car's off, you don't have to stop. When I went into Walgreens, he was there walking towards me, so I like got an arm up around his shoulder, decentralized him, and then we put his forces hands behind his back. That's it. There were no knee strikes, nothing. X-rays were then performed, which did not display any broken bones. Okay, now what happened? Harrison was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, times two, and disorderly conduct. He also received three citations for non-registration of a vehicle, possession of THC, second offense, and parking in a handicapped parking space. Lastly, his cash bond was set at $250. <laughs> That's it? Support code. Oh, we don't even know what happened to him. Oh, damn, man. I really want to know whether it gets any motion on this thing or 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 what. It was <laughs> like, uh, all right, all right, all right. Let, let let let's go ahead and grade this whole experience. We'll start off with the cops. What do you guys give the cops in their interaction with Harrison a grade on this A through F? What are y'all giving them? Let's see, a D, an F. We're talking about the cops. We're talking about the cops now. We're giving the cops a grade. A through F, a B, D minus. They're all over the place, big F. Fs, B minus, D minus. A little bit all over the place, huh? Baby cop gets an E minus. He looked like he was. <laughs> uh, the whole experience had so many twists. I just don't understand why I keep opening the door. Yo, for real. It was never ending. They, they, they made that stop longer than it needed to be by going into that uh, door and just having Harrison yell at him. You know what I mean? We got an F minus. S plus? Wait, what? S plus? S tier? Rob said a C. I think I'm inclined to agree with, with Rob with the C on this. I think for me, um, I don't think the cop tried to de-escalate it when he was in the store. He certainly didn't want to engage the guy because he didn't have backup and he, you know, he he was uh scary. Uh so he waited for backup to come and then they immediately took him down to the ground. I would have liked to have seen him try to de-escalate before backup came. And then when backup came, if he still didn't comply and, and calm down, then they'd have to move to, you know, uh, detain him or whatever else. And then from there, the excessive back and forth with him, everyone just opening the car door a million times. It just, it just prolonged that whole situation. Uh, it made it longer. And all of that just for some misdemeanors that are probably – I don't know. Some of that might be thrown out or he might, ha he might just have to pay a fine for some of that stuff. I mean, this is happening in Wisconsin. They're kind of uh, sticklers for stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, I think Wisconsin is still a no weed, uh, uh, recreational use state. So they're going to pop you for that. Um, the disorderly conduct. I don't know where that came from. Is it, maybe it's from his behavior inside of the Walgreens. So yeah, you know, we'll see, they could have done some stuff to, to deescalate it. Perhaps clearly he was, 
agitated for God knows what reason. It is what it is. All right, so now when it comes to Harrison, what are we giving him on the grade from A to F? I think the call for backup was inflated. I mean, you know how it goes. They pull you over for your tail light and they call for backup and 35 cops show up. Like, bro, really for a tail light? This is necessary. Like, it, like clearly it's a slow night. Y'all gotta just come over your board. You know what I mean? So what are we grading Harrison, A through F? I thought it was a clip from Super Troopers. <laughs> True. Um, Harrison, F. F. See, a lot of Fs right now. Okay. Okay. Another F. They said he was fighting, but he was only, uh, only, well, he was only backing up away from the cop. Yeah. It's interesting how they use certain words to justify what they did. He was fighting and all like, bro, they didn't fight. He, he, you know, he pulled his arm away. That is passive. It's not aggressive. It's a passive uh, thing to do. Uh, a plus for action packed pettiness. <laughs> That's funny. D minus, C minus. All right. Um, on this one, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Harrison a big fat F. It just it doesn't help when you already come out of the gate on t on 10 because sadly the, the, the reality is most cops are not going to try and deescalate it. And so they're only going to match and, and then go above whatever level you're at to take control of the situation. Had he gotten out and maybe discussed it, things could have been totally different. I, I presume that cop would have still run him a ticket just because of some petty ass shit and they got nothing better to do. Uh, but it wouldn't have and landed him in jail and uh, potentially injured his shoulder. Even though they, they x-rayed it, it could have been a muscle thing. It's not like a bone thing. Who knows? I would have liked to have seen some kind of conclusion to this saying, you know, uh, he went to trial, he was convicted, or uh, charges were dropped. Um, it'd be interesting to see the validity of the stop. Because <clears throat> um, if I remember correctly, if I look back at the beginning of it, uh, let's see. So he's driving. Okay, look. So he's already in the lot. I don't, where are the lights at? Now the lights are on. See, okay, okay. Yo, peep this out. Don't ever go to Jackson, Wisconsin. They got nothing better to do over there. So look, he's mad far away already. I mean, he's multiple cars ahead turning into the Walgreens. There's no lights on at this point. There's no lights whatsoever. Yo, this actually changes my, my yo, he might actually beat this shit at this point. He stopped already. He's getting ready to get out of his car. There's no flashing lights yet, right? There's no flashing lights. Now, lights on right now. I see the lights. He's already out the car. Yo, this could act. Harrison might have a, a real case. He might actually have a real case, bro. I'm already out the car and you turn on the lights. That, to me, in a traffic stop. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But... I'd be, I'd be fucking arguing like, yo, what do you mean you stopped me? I'm already out of my car. Car's parked. I'm, you know what I mean? So I don't know. He might actually uh, have this shit thrown out. Once they look at the footage and be like, yo, your officer, my, my client was already out the car on his way into the store. Car was parked and off. And um, you turn on your lights as he's walking out of the car. Oh, this might change some shit. Harrison might, Harrison might, you know what I'm saying, might, might come out as, with a dub after all. It seems like that's the reason why he was going so hard in the paint, that he really believed like, bro, you, you didn't get me. You didn't stop me before. It wasn't like the lights were on back here. Bro, it wasn't no lights back here. Oh, I'm going to run it back. Um, look, it wasn't like the lights are on right here and, and, and he's just keeping, he's keep going and he just turns into a lot. There ain't no lights right here. No police lights whatsoever. He's already parked. Car stopped right there. His lights are still not on. It's not until the cop turns right behind him and he's already out of the car that the lights come on. I don't know about you, but I, I think any reasonable person might be like, that's not a fucking traffic stop. I'm already out my car. Where, what? What do you mean? 
Just my thoughts. Something to think about. When the cop turned the corner, there was a reflection of the lights on. However, I don't think Harrison was aware. When he turned the corner, at no point right here, there's no lights. We would see the lights uh, flashing around. There's no lights. The car's coming. There's no reflection off the car. The light's gone. All right. We would see the lights. Now the lights are right there. He didn't turn on, bro. He didn't turn on those squad lights until he was already out the car. Ain't no way. There was no other light reflection anywhere here. It's really, it's really easy to see once he turns them on. Just watch. Right, right as he starts to turn, right there. Then now they're on. He's already out the car. Like I'm out. Anyway, that video brought to you by Code Blue Cam on YouTube. Um, I'm curious to see what people have to say. Um, they really don't have to end like this. Hey, everyone in the comments is like the lady with the suspended license definitely drove herself home. <laughs> Facts, 100%. 100%.